Does it mean that they have no hope of harvesting fruit? There is always hope because God never stops working. God never stops making hearts more tender. God never stops scattering. Jesus scattered the seed of faith on all kinds of people, including religious leaders. But some of the leaders had become a bunch of religious know-it-alls. They thought they knew everything about who God is and how it works. Their minds had become clouded by their misperception. Maybe Jesus chose to speak to them in parables in an effort to break up the hard ground of their hearts. You know, Jesus never stopped trying. He wanted to loosen the soil so the seed of the gospel can take root. It's true that seeds landing on hard or rocky ground stand less of a chance of growing deep roots and thriving. But it does sometimes happen. There are remarkable pictures of trees growing out of rocks and flowers that push up through pavement. These plants offer signs that the Word of God will continue to find a way to grow even on the days when we feel beaten down or overcome by thorns. That's what Jesus did when he chose to die on the cross. Remember Jesus once said, unless a kernel of wheat falls, on, falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, if it dies, it produces many seeds. When Jesus died on the cross, people thought that he was finished. His teachings were false and his words were vanquished. When he rose again, he conquered death and sin. He showed the world that a life can grow out of rocks. A flower can push up through pavement. Because of the cross, he could share his message with many others. His resurrection is a sign of hope. So don't lose your hope even in this time of pandemic. God can still make our hearts tender in this difficult time. Jesus reminded the disciples that they too were sores. Jesus called them to scatter the seed of gospel just as he did. In the same way, he is calling us to be the good sower, the merciful one. The question is, are you willing to be a reckless and careless sower like Jesus? There was one memorial service that I can ever forget. The executive presbyter, Reverend Penny Hill, passed away due to lung cancer. Her memorial service was held at a church in downtown Atlanta. Everyone who spoke at the service said one common thing about her. She was the kind of person who never ceased to share love and kindness with others. And she was the kind of person who would assign the Bible passage to be preached on for her own funeral service. I never heard of anyone who assigned the Bible passage for funeral service. It was from the book of Micah, chapter 6, verse 8. It says, He has showed you, O man, what is good, and what does this law require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. 
That was her life motto, to act justly and to love mercy. One of her old friends from seminary shared a memory of Penny. This friend just had lost a family member, and he was dealing with many difficult issues. It was so tough for him to endure, he even thought about taking his own life. He locked the door of his dorm room and didn't let anyone in. But Penny never gave up on him. She knocked on the door and yelled at him from outside of the door. Penny wouldn't leave until she saw him. So he had to open the door and let her in. Then Penny hugged this desperate friend and told him, I love you. I love you. I love you. No matter what other people say, I love you. This friend said that Penny saved his life. She was that kind of person. During the service, I thought to myself, I want to live a life like her. I want my funeral service to be like this one. The seed of kindness and the seed of hospitality were sowed in my heart in the service. She was the kind of person who still sows a seed even after death. Jesus calls us to be a good sower. Let us be a reckless sower like Jesus. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, we are grateful for your amazing love. Lord, sometimes we fail to bear fruits in our lives. Sometimes we fail to show kindness or hospitality to others. But we trust that you are still working in our lives, tending our hearts and our minds. Lord, nourish us. Water us with your spirit so we can sow a seed of your words on this world. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.